We're getting an inside look at what children can expect when returning in Henderson County. 44 News reporter Tyler Druin is there with a sneak peek tonight. I'm really excited to be back with my friends, obviously. It's been a while since we've been in school. Maggie Hollis is headed into her freshman year at Henderson County High School with COVID-19 looming. She says she doesn't know what to expect. I think we really do have to follow the rules and listen to our teachers and wear our masks to really be able to stay in school. The Henderson County Board of Education spent thousands of dollars on resources to keep children, faculty, and staff safe. School leaders releasing these photos of classrooms and learning spaces. You can see desks have been arranged so students can practice social distancing during instruction. I really do think it's going to be an adjustment, but it's not necessarily going to be a bad thing if we're working to keep people safe. School administrators say they're taking extra measures to keep children safe this school year, but some students say they're going to take advantage of online learning. I feel that Henderson County is keeping students safe, but for me and my family, we're going to homeschool this year. Students will be required to wear their mask when in hallways or common areas, something eighth grader Annabelle Whitledge says she would have a hard time doing. I, mean, I really do think that it would be a struggle for me to keep a mask on all day, and I would never want to put myself in that danger either. There are a number of options for students and parents to decide what is best for their family. In person, classroom instruction, online learning, or a mix of the two. School in Henderson is set to resume August 26th. I don't fault my fellow classmates for going back to school. I mean, I really do hope to go back to school when all this stuff passes. Reporting in Henderson, Tyler Drew in 44 News. And tonight, the hallway isn't the only place